Well, today what we've got is we've got this, uh, we've got this synthetic rope here. And we're going to change it out. What happens, this is a brand new winch. What happens is the, uh, The uh, winch, being that it's cable, being that it's cable, it uh, it start it, with with the plow. You can already see it here. I've very used this only a few times, very little. You see these barbs sticking up? Let me get you a little closer. See the barbs? Over a winter, when you're trying to plow, they that this constant spot rolling over the fair lead, it damages the uh, damages the cable. I've only used this winch maybe four or five times, and not even used it hard. But another thing is from a safety standpoint, if you've ever been pricked by a cable, a piece of uh, metal from a cable you won't want that again so we're going to put this on here this is the uh, 50 foot 3 8 uh, nylon rope it's made for four wheelers I got it from Harbor Freight it's uh, $34.99 well, you can go to a Polaris dealership and pay over 100 for one because it'll say Polaris on it but uh, this one's the Badland. Okay, this is the Badland one. Now the only thing right off the bat I can see is uh, they've got this. The hook looks good. They've got this zip tie on here. Now most people take a knife and you don't want to do that because if you cut that line, that's no good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get a pair of dykes and cut that off so we don't damage it. I'll be right back. You want to get a pair of dikes like this so that you can control where you're putting it and if anything you want to get underneath you want to get underneath and know where you're at because if you're just snipping downward like this you could be cutting a cable so that's one thing I understand they want to wrap it together but a simple bread tie would have worked there we go so that's what it looks like Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this old cable out. And what we did is we set this this winch on freewheel. And what I'm going to have to do is get in there and look at this. Now I haven't had it out that only but a few times, but this is what this cable does on itself it winds up crinking and binding on itself and it actually damages the cable it's kind of like a little bird cage mini bird cage and if you know anything about cables that that's not good so as we pull this out I believe there's 50 feet on this maybe more I don't know it might be 100 feet I really don't know but The cable's still good in case something happens. I could use it somewhere else. But at the end of the day, the synthetic one is going to be better in the winter. And we're going to load it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go off camera here and change this out. Now you see this red marking here? That means you're towards the end. So if you're changing one out and you see that, you know you're you're almost at your rope's end. So there we are. There's a little locking lug in there. I gotta pull that off. I'll get back to you. When I get the new cable in, I'll give you an update on it. And we'll do a walk around. Okay? I'll be back. 